In the heart of Nigeria, a silent battle is being fought. A battle against microscopic enemies that have become stronger and more resilient over time. Antimicrobial resistance or AMR occurs when germs such as bacteria, viruses, fungi and parasites change over time and no longer respond to medicines, making infections harder to treat and increasing the risk of disease spread, severe illness and death. Globally, antimicrobial resistance AMR is becoming a bigger problem. In Nigeria, the situation is especially worrisome. Research has shown that many infections are becoming resistant to antibiotics that are commonly used to treat them, making it harder to fight these diseases. Several factors contribute to the high prevalence of AMR in Nigeria. These include the overuse and misuse of antibiotics, lack of regulation and oversight in the sale of medicines, inadequate infection prevention and control measures, poor water, sanitation and hygiene in hospitals and communities, and the use of antibiotics in agriculture. The impact of AMR is felt deeply across our communities. Healthcare professionals are finding it increasingly difficult to treat common infections, leading to prolonged illnesses and increased deaths from infections. Despite the challenges, efforts are underway to combat AMR in Nigeria. The government, alongside international organizations, is implementing policies to regulate the use of antibiotics, improve infection prevention and control, and educate the public on the responsible use of antibiotics. The Nigeria Center for Disease Control and Prevention, NCDC, plays a crucial role in leading the country's fight against antimicrobial resistance or AMR. As the head of the AMR Coordinating Committee, the NCDC ensures that Nigeria's response is both strong and effective. Our government recognizes the gravity of this threat and has made significant political commitments to addressing it all across human, animal and environmental sectors as well as the private sector players to effectively combat it. Working together with experts from human health, animal health and environmental sectors under the One Health approach, the NCDC brings together a united front to tackle this growing global threat. By coordinating efforts across these sectors, the NCDC is shaping a future where antibiotics and other life-saving treatments remain effective for generations to come. We urge all Nigerians, one, to practice good hygiene, that is, wash hands regularly, protect your food and water sources, and avoid open defecation. Two, get vaccinated, and complete all recommended childhood immunizations to reduce the likelihood of infections that require antibiotics. Avoid self-medication, and do not purchase antibiotics without a prescription from a qualified healthcare provider. And always complete a full course of treatment and never share leftover antibiotics. We must vaccinate livestock as vaccines also help prevent diseases that may require antibiotics in animals. Practice hygiene by maintaining cleanliness in our farms, abattoirs and markets to prevent infections and ensure healthier environments for these animals. By working together, we can reduce the spread of AMR and help preserve the effectiveness of antibiotics for those who truly need them. Together, we can curb the spread of antimicrobial resistance and protect the health of future generations. By understanding the threat of AMR and taking proactive steps, Nigeria can lead the way in the global fight against antimicrobial resistance. This message is brought to you by Nigeria Center for Disease Control, dedicated to improving public health and combating antimicrobial resistance.